Hello, I'm Ryan from Moose Nest. Thanks for joining us on our YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to be going over the Donek Tools Drag Knife that we've got here available on our store from today. This video is gonna go over on how to use the Donek Tools Drag Knife. We're gonna cut a little template of our Moose Nest logo into a piece of cardboard. I'm gonna show you how to fix it to the machine and how to get going in the software. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna unbox our drag knife and fix it into the machine. So as you can see, it comes in a nice little wooden box. You get an Allen key, a spare blade, and this is the main drag knife assembly. We're just going to take that out there. This is the D4 model. This is made to fit a quarter inch shank. So we're just going to put that into there. Fix that in place. We're now going to tighten it securely. It's nice and secure in place. We can now go upstairs and I can show you what we're going to do in our software so we can cut this piece of card. In Aspire, I've just created the Usenest logo using the text tab just there. Once I've done that, you've got to highlight it all, right click, and just make sure that you convert all the text to curves. Once you've done this, highlight the text again. We're going to go up to Gadgets, Drag Knife Toolpath. And here you're going to enter all the information specific to the version of the drag knife that you purchase. And once you've got that there, we just press OK. This is going to create our drag knife toolpath. We go into the 3D view. You can see here that's what it's going to look like once we've cut it from the material. We're now going to clamp down our cardboard using these clamps that we made in a previous video. We'll leave a link to this in the description. So let's just tighten these up. I've just got to be tight enough just to hold our piece of cardboard in place. It's also worth noting that you want your spoiler ball to be nice and level. We've also got a tutorial on how to do so, so this will also be in the description. Now we've got that nice and secure, we can run our toolpath using the drag knife. We hope you found this video enjoyable to watch. We really enjoyed making this on our white BCNC machine. This was our first time using the Donek drag knife and I think it came out pretty well. As I mentioned previously, the drag knife will be available on our website from the date of this video. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please leave us a comment. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep you posted.